In this video, I'm going to give you everything you need to create the parallax effect for backgrounds in your game. First of all, what is parallax? All you need to know is that parallax is the perceived difference in distance and pace of objects in the foreground and background. This effect is especially easy to see when looking out your car window while driving. For example, mountains in the background will be moving really, really slow, while trees in the foreground will be moving really, really fast. That is parallax. Now, how do we create parallax? There are two fundamental things you need in order to create a parallax background in your game. Objects that are further away need to be smaller than objects that are closer to the camera. Objects that are further away also need to move slower than objects closer to the camera. This makes the world in your game feel more realistic and relatable because this is how humans actually perceive things. Now, how do you implement this? Here's some pseudo code for you to implement in your own game. Now, obviously this will vary depending on what game engine you have. So try it out for yourself or find a specific tutorial for your engine. So we have a function get camera X and we're setting a variable camera X to this value. And then down here, we have a function that is setting the background X for whatever background you supply. So background one through six, and then we're giving it a value to set the background X position to. So in this instance, we have camera X divided by 2.5. This will give the effect that the layer is moving faster than the ones behind it. And we slowly reduce that value all the way down to one. And then the furthest background is moving at the exact same pace as the camera, which will make it seem like it is not moving at all. Now I'm going to show you how to implement this in GameMaker. I use GameMaker for all my 2D games and this is exactly how I have Parallax set up in my own game. Inside the step event for my Parallax object, this is all I have. I'm getting the layer IDs using the layer get ID. So the layers in the room, I have background one through six. I'm getting the IDs, storing them in variables. Then I'm checking if the camera exists. If it does, we're storing the camera's position in a local variable. And then we're using the layer X function to set the X position of each layer. And I am using the exact same values I showed you in the pseudo code earlier. This is what works for my game. You might have to tweak these values and change it up for your own, but this is exactly what I use for mine. Now I'll show you what it looks like in game. Here's the game without parallax. Everything is moving at the exact same pace. It looks kind of weird and nowhere near as good. Now here is the game with parallax. Quite the difference, but it is incredibly easy to implement. So if you're making a 2D game, I highly recommend you add this feature. It goes a long way. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.